Welcome back to Prog Shadow Channel. We are back with Backbone. Um, last episode, as you know, was not my favorite one <laughs> because uh, we as a Howie get infiltrated by uh, Alien. And yeah, and now we are this being. We killed our best friend, um, Anatoly. And uh, I don't know where this will lead. So w we will see what we can do and where the story will progress. Thank you so much for being with me on this journey. And without further ado, let's go ahead and do this. Artifact, you again. You again, who are you? I am what I am. You are what you are. I am my past, I am my body, I am my thoughts. And what are they made of? Whatever I decide, whatever others decide for me, electric currents triggered by chemical reactions. Oh, I don't know how these... Um, I don't know how this is important or not to the story, whether what we decide. I would say I will try to preserve Howie's um, independent thoughts, if they are still there. I don't know, but I'm hoping. So whatever I decide, right? Brace yourself for the current. Oh, what is yours and what is theirs? You are created in the image of someone else. Someone else only exists inside of you. Endless cycle of creation. Brace yourself for the current. I'm ready. I guess. You won't ever be ready. Change sweeps you away when you least expect it. And then you change. But you change nothing. I exist again. Okay. We are back here. We have our friend Larry. I don't know if you want to wake him up. Um, if you want to go outside, what is our objective? Meet people and spend time alone. Make a plan. Okay, let's just uh, let let let's let's have Larry to have his. Oh. Oh, hey, you trying to sneak out me? Uh, you just look so cozy. You're not my dad, Larry. Uh, you just look so cozy. We didn't want we want him to have him good sleep. Yeah, I'm a regular snuggle snuggle bot. <laughs> you can sleep in tomorrow. I gotta go. You're regular. Sure, sure. Let's talk. What happened to you and what's our plan? What? I don't know, Larry. You want to know everything? Let's get straight to planning since when it's our plan. Yes. Yeah, share the weight, dude. I like how Larry is still like lying down and we just hovering above him. It's kind of creepy. Okay. Lay it down. Bloodworth is killing people and apes eats them. Are you sure nobody follow us here? What? Is that a metaphor? I followed the trail to Science City. And then there is a fucked up research at the Science City. Like what? Cloning have no idea. I was exposed to something there. It's in me. Some kind of DNA splicing and something got into me. Yes. You know I always got your back, but I'm out of my depth here. How can I help? Can you get me some meds to treat my condition? Can you track Renee Wilson down? We need to find a way to let people know what's happened to me. Well, okay. Uh, this is hard for me, people. I would like to use all of three, three options here. I think for Howie, we need a meds. Whatever, I know this is probably not going to help, but whatever we can try, right? I don't know what's the deal with Renee because we get split when Clarissa got to us. We don't know if Renee betrayed us at any point, what the hell she's about, where she's hiding, why she's not searching for us. Can she really help us? So that's a really interesting lead for me. And we need to find a way to let people know what happened to me. I think that is very important too because something did happen to him he's infected with this whatever alien right so oh i i really don't know i feel like i'm gonna hmm. maybe you know let's go for renee i don't know if i can trust her but if we trick renee maybe she can get the word out after all maybe she can 
let people know what happened to me. I can ask around my usual context. A few of us uh, keep our ears to the ground and trade rumors. But do you have any leads for me? She has a uh, bald horn near Alberni Streets. I don't know the exact address. She could be hiding. She'll be asking her out after me. It's a hunch. Hmm. I don't know. Burning Park? Hmm. If you say so, there's a, a streetie we know who often hangs there too. I'll ask him to keep an eye out. Cool, thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's a story for another time, I guess. I will do. What? What's this girl look like? She's a fox, young, pretty, usual wears green. She's a young fox, clever, cynical eyes, good posture. Oh. Well, so I like option number two. Fox, clever, cynical good posture but yeah, that's like what I like about Renee but if um, if I'm describing for somebody who doesn't know her I want to be as factual right so we want to let them know okay she wears green she's a fox young and pretty even though it sounds a little bit more shallow okay let's see what I can do you may also slightly unusual people big favorite though um, I'm ready to make a decision can you give me some mats to treat my condition And then what? Even if they believe you, then people will rise up. Um, that's up to them. I'll have done my part. I'll figure it out one step at a time. If you say so. Oh, okay. So we actually, you know, we can go for all the three options as I was hoping for. So sometimes I don't know where the dialogues will, you know, go. I don't know, man. I have a few sources. Uh, but do you even know what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. We are called artifact right now, Larry. No, but antibiotic school help, painkillers, anything, please. There is no telling what I've got even be cured. I guess we will say painkillers, anything. We have an ex-doctor here, uh, Roger. I can try and pick you some stuff up, but you should talk to him too. I'm ready to make a decision. Uh, what will be? I can only do one thing today, but we might try again tomorrow. Ask around, find anyone willing to make announcement, find me some medicine, whatever you can get, try to find Renan. I'll ask the usual suspect, but I really can't promise anything. I know, but please don't be long. You're a true friend, Larry. What do I do in the meantime? You were due to have a group uh, dinner tonight, get to know Fox, help out, take your time. And I'm invited? Of course. You're one of us now. You should help them out while I'm gone. All right. See you later. Okay. So now we can go outside. Okay. New objective. Uh, attend a group dinner. Wait for Larry to return. Meet people or spend time alone. Okay. We're going to be meeting people. Hopefully we will not be killing them. Hey. I am Alien slash uh, Howie. Oh, Roger's the doctor. Joshua. Okay, let's start. You know, why not to start with Roger? He's a doctor, so let's talk to him. Hello, young fellow. I'm a Roger, Betty. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, I'm Howard. Forgive me for being blunt, but I'm a doctor. What's the nature of your aff affliction? Never seen anything like it. Can I see? Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't want to kill you because you touch me. Uh, I'm not sure it's complicated. I'm happy to hear it. If you ever want an ex-professional opinion, best to have these things checked out. You don't sound too good yourself. Maybe tomorrow when I know it's safe. Thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Well, I won't keep you. I've got a few remedies to prepare, but do let me know if you ever need a checkup. Have you checked up on it yourself? Thanks, Roger. Bye. Great meeting you. Let's be... Thanks. Same goes to you. Let's ask, do you need any help? That'd be very kind of you. I've got my hands full with everyone else requests. I think a cup of tea would... <laughs> In this game, um, 
Me and Howie, we we're just doing tea all the time. It's just so funny. I think a cup of tea would do me good, but I need some herbs. You can find them in a foresty area near uh, nearby and the farm. Joshua was just about to go. You can keep him company. Joshua, shall we go on an adventure? Dude, I'm not working 12. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry, my fault. <laughs> Sorry, Joshua. I am in a mindset of a 12 years old. <laughs> I don't mind doing it by myself. Sorry. Go on, Joshua. I'll do good. But what exactly do we need? Time and sage. Okay, we're going then. Okay, Joshua. Let's. Okay. Find sage time. Okay. Joshua, you're not going with me? Oh, okay. I thought if he. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. He's joining me. Behind me, kind of. Come on, man. Let's go. Well, I'm going. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up time. Hey, buddy. Okay, here's the... What was there? Next rosemary or thing? I hope you're not gonna kill this guy. We are missing... Find sage time. So we don't have a sage. It's a problem. Okay, dude. Uh, I'll talk to you. I just need to find sage. So I'm going to talk to... Let me check the... I might well have to talk to Dio because I don't know where the sage is. Yeah, there's no sage. Um, let's talk to Dio. Hey, where are you? All better for seeing you. Not bad, all things considered. Good, it's all relative, right? What do you make of this place? Need any help gardening? Uh, I'm looking for some sage growing any. No, yeah. Sure, it's basically a parental here. What would you got in mind? I'm helping Roger with his cot, keeping myself busy. Oh, his tea, sure. Exactly, thank you. Here, I'll cut... Cut you a few stems, appreciate it. No problem, bro. What do you make of this place? Need any help gardening? Of course, let's get dirty. Okay, where do I start? Okay, well, I'm just taking task after task. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, Howie. Did, did we get the sage? Okay, didn't you say that you're gonna cut me the sage? Where's the sage? I help you gardening, man. Where's the sage? Do I need to talk him again? Okay, I need my sage. Hmm. Okay, I thought I'm gonna get my sage and there's no sage in there, so I don't know. Okay, let's talk to Joshua. Thing on your back. Alien. Are you going to die? I like that he's not even surprised. We just like admit we have an alien on our back. <laughs> not healthy after my job? That's kind of a personal question. Yes, and so will you one day. No, until I've done my job. I, I want a job. Got something in mind? Careful what you wish for. Cool, I'm just gonna chill here. Don't tell dad I'm smoking. Uh, can you smoke, I guess? Your dad doesn't know you smoke. You happy here? It's a bit lonely, but it's the best place for me. Why are you guys here in the first place? Yeah. There is a trouble in the city for us. Here's pretty good though, huh? Would you rather be somewhere else? Why? I don't want to talk about it. Sorry, let's move on. Yeah. I don't think so. He wouldn't like it. He's a doctor. Maybe he knows best. So why do you do it? Hmm. You get on with the old fella? I mean, sure. It's not like we do loads together. He's always helping others. We're kind of separate people. Uh, I could be done with a dad like that. You have no idea how lucky are you. I am. I am? Uh, Mom told me dad hit her once while she was carrying me. Yep, 
Once my dad didn't come home for four days, I barely even remember my dad. I don't know what it's our history actually with dad. It's a good question. I barely even remember, I guess. Okay, sorry. So respect your dad is, is he good? Uh, mom tried to make up for it, but still. Sucks, dude, sorry. I can do with a smoke, I guess. Sure, there you go. I don't have the sage. I don't want to sit alone. Okay, we're just gonna sit alone, I guess. The rustle of the grass transport your thoughts and uh, the bots and you feel begin to take a root in a soft lump. I've been in the city too long. I am tree reaching towards the sun. Yeah. I don't wanna be rooted. Okay, we talked to Joshua. Man, where is my sage though? You said you're gonna cut me a sage and there is no sage. Dear. Hmm. He promised me a sage though. Did I do something wrong in the dialogue? Find sage time? Yeah. Hey, how are you settling in? Trying not to? Can't stay long? I'm working on it. I can't see myself getting used to this life. I'm working on it. Oh, I don't know if I really belong here. I ever wanted to do was to help people. I have unfinished business. Hey, most of us do. Sometimes it's best to just uh, let that old life go. I'm not sure I can do that. I'm good at uh, letting things go. Anyway, cheer up. Everyone needs some help sometimes. Do you think you belong here? So you're up uh, too much today? Not really. I get tired and easy. What makes you tired? Uh, you want some company? What should I expect from dinner tonight? Heh. <laughs> All depends on who is cooking duty. I hope it's not. He just nails the soup every time. If you're not busy, sure, come notice uh, things with me. Tell me what's on your mind or don't. Yeah, I think I need that. Really? Yeah. Sure, it'd be nice. Hey, doctor, I don't have your... Uh... I, I guess we're gonna make a cup of tea. Oh, he's good, despite his dad. You don't seem so bad at that, go. Yeah, I got your tea. Oh, excellent, thank you. Latest doc, hope it helps. Oh, thank you, Howard, and for spending time with Josh. Glad to be of help, get well soon. Okay, so we done this then. Okay, why? I don't know, my objective didn't change, I see. Okay, well, there was people over here. We can talk to everybody. I guess that's what we need to do. You must be the whore my little ones uh, keep bothering me about. I'm sorry about whatever's happening to you. Sorry if I scared them. Oh, not at all. They're just curious. I'm Carla, by the way, and the little terrors are Hugo and Esme. You handling the kids on your own? I'll be on my way, Carla. You don't mind me being around the kids? I know you poorly... Uh, but, but what kind of mom would I be if I uh, told my kids you were a freak? Thank you, but you don't think... <laughs> you, you do think it. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Those... <laughs> no, no, I don't need... Teach my babas to judge. Maybe they'll ask you some blunt questions, but it won't be out of scorn. Sounds like they'll grow up great. Hope so, not exactly a normal childhood, but seems to me all the normal kids are still unhappy, so. It all starts in childhood. Erm, yes, I suppose so. You handling the kids on your own? Whatever makes you say that? I'm sorry, I have uh, a habit of assuming the worst. It's your eyes like you're uh, really to take on the world. You're absolutely right, but it wasn't this fault. Hey, don't make an excuses from him. You left him? No, what happened? 
He passed away. Oh, Carla, that is so sad. Oh shit, I'm sorry. You must be so strong. The poor kids. You must be so strong. Strong, everything hurts, but I have something to live for and I don't hide from the babas. Okay, I only meant I'm sorry. It could be worse. The boobas have a big family, bounce around, people help out, and I feel lucky considering. Tell me about your boobas. Esme is destined to be a singer. She never stopped. She's actually not that bad. Hugo, he lives in Esme's shadow. Time will well. Time will well? I think it should be time will tell. Um, I'll be on my way, Carla. Bye and tell me if uh, these two bother you too much. They couldn't possibly. We talked to doctor. We're not gonna. We're not gonna talk. We didn't talk to these two fellas. Ryan. Hey, Harry. Hey, Ryan. You want in on this action, dude? Where are you from, Ryan? Let's play. I'll go. You just let's play. Put your butt in the seat, boy. Go easy on me. Oh, we're gonna play chess. Oh. I was excited for a second. I I cannot. I know how to play chess, and you know, dare I say, I'm not that bad. But fortunately, get that chance. How are you feeling today, chap? Kind of floaty. I don't know. I can tell. Fine. Fine. Well, tonight's dinner should be jolly. Always good to get the allging together. I'm helping out. I want to feel useful. I think that's a super idea. Good on you. Oh, you know, the usual, a pile of debts, a bundle of regrets, an assortment of useless junk and too many books. Hey, you can uh, never have too many books. So what did you bring with you? Yeah. My good hat, favorite books and a clean conscience. You left behind a job too? You had a big book collection? Everything you can think of to anything you can imagine and a little in between. Why did you have so many books? So you had Horatio Hornswoggle and the Diamond Bride. Oh, are we so? Are we gonna? Cl are we, I mean, are, are we going to be like clever here? Oh, let's be clever. I had everything apart from Horatio. <laughs> that's that's for kids. You said I know your books. It's nostalgic. I love to read it again. Yeah, I mean, I loved it as a kid. I hear you, chap. All habits die hard, right? Did you bring your habits with you too? Hmm. And I'm not asking you to. I'd best get going north. You're friends with Ryan? You could say that, but I say um, our life philosophies clash as much as <laughs> our playing styles. <laughs> he seems to take his cards seriously. So uh, all day playing cards, for some reason I thought I was playing chess. My, my fault. Um, yes, Ryan supplies the banter. I supplies the er erudition. <laughs> okay, bye. I think we're doing good. There's oh, it's Mr. Geese. Hey, Geezer. The geese regards you somewhat very late. Yeah, because I'm an alien, probably wants to eat you. The geese ruffles its tail feathers and looks more uh, obliquely at you. I'm a friend. Remain still, staring into her eyes. I don't like where this is going. Leave the geezer. I'm a friend. The geezer half gently in acknowledgement and settles calmly onto her haunches and makes what can only be described as raspy purring sound. Just chilling with the geezer, running from my problems. Reach out and pet the geezer. You know, let's not pet the geezer because I'm just afraid how he's gonna kill us anything, so I'm just gonna chill. The geezer looks into your eyes and honks loudly. She likes spending time with you too. Oh. Geezer pleaser. <laughs> and that's the achievement for the game, people. I am a geezer pleaser. <laughs> Great. Hey, Howard, ready for dinner? Where's Larry? Is everything okay? You look worried? Uh, where's Larry? I'm not sure he might turn up later. You don't sound so confident. Does he often miss dinner? I'm afraid it's not unheard of. He has a history of substance abuse. 
What does that have to do with anything? You don't know what you're talking about. Exactly history is in the past. I'm not afraid it's present issue. No way, he went to the city to help me. How often does this happen? I can't believe it. Why, Larry idiot bastard? Perhaps he did, but he's liable to be forgetful when he's uh, procuring his fancies. Hmm. I'll talk to some sense to him. I can't believe. You're welcome to try. I'm sorry you didn't know. Try and enjoy dinner. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, interesting. It's okay. Uh, after all, we are geezer pleaser. <laughs> Oh, look at this. I I love the graphics sometimes in this game. It's just like so... This is really cool. Falling asleep, falling alone, driving me sane, driving me home. Beautiful. Oh no. Oh no. What is going on? Clarissa? <gasps> Run! Oh gee, how we are. S you kidding? You, you. <sighs> All right, people. Alright, 
so I think this is a good time uh, to close on the episode. It was very interesting, beautiful moments. We actually have very tender, uh, very tender connections with people and building relationships, which we haven't done before with Howie. So I do appreciate that. So thank you so much for joining me for this incredible journey of a backbone. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. That will help me greatly. If you're coming back to my channel for this uh, series, consider subscribing. And other than that, I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.